before you this time. We are lifting our brother and the heart of my Redeemer that you may bless him, continue to show his love and his life. Thank you because of his family, thank you because of his life and his health. Meet with the desire and meet with his needs at this time, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. The Lord is showing me life. You have been working very hard and you are a man who has worked very hard in his life. But uh, mm -hmm. the enemy has been trying to, to tell you that uh, nobody understands you. Mm -hmm. Many times you, you, many people have uh, tried to, to do things to you, but you don't understand even why. Why are they doing this? But uh, the Lord is tells me that uh, he's telling me that uh, you are such a man who has a uh, heart that is so forgiving. And you forgive and you don't even remember what happened to the man. And uh, this is the power that has kept you all this time. Because of a heart of forgiving and forgiving, letting things go and then moving on. You are a man who never gets stuck on the own or on the past, but always you shake yourself off the past and move on. And this is what the Lord says. He is uh, going to take you to a place of rest. A place of rest where you shall be able to influence. So influence and bring uh, a touch to the people around you. And uh, you are such a, a prayer and a, and a knowing ten man. There is great potential in you even to, 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 to reach the word, minister to people around you. And they share the word for your foundation. Your beginning was a, a Christian beginning, very strong Christian beginning. And you were brought up in the ways of God. And uh, you, 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 you knew the word of God. And uh, from the experience, and uh, the Lord said this was not an accident, it was not a coincidence, it was the tweet of the Lord, a part of destiny prepared for you. Do not take lightly the things that you are taught in the past, for they are for the time as it is, and you will use it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you because of your love that you have shown unto my sister, O Lord. I want to commit my sister and to your loving heart, O God. Thank you because you love so her much. Thank you because of the joy of salvation that you have brought unto her life. Thank you because of the joy that this woman has. Thank you because of that joy that you have given unto her, the joy that it is to be, show, uh, to be seen in us. And then when people they see her, they see the joy of your Lord. Thank you because of your love. Thank you because of the way you continue to love my sister and to show love unto her. Continue, Lord, as my heart to reveal yourself unto her. Thank you, Jesus, because you are so good. I see you working with a team, a very, a very strong team. And this team is a, a mission team. And they're planning and they're putting you like a secretary of the team, telling you to write things down and they put them together for the team ministry. And uh, the Lord is using you in a team that is a, a high profile team to serve in the community and to lead. But the devil is not happy also. The devil is putting a lot of uh, stumbling block. He's putting a lot of handles for you to cross. And uh, I want to encourage you today, woman of God, that you are not uh, a, such a kind that will be left hanging on the wrong side uh, being knocked over by the powers of darkness, but you are a kind of a woman who shall defeat the enemy. For out of your mouth shall come a wand of victory, a wand of faith that shall defeat the powers of darkness. And all the handles that have been laid ahead of you, you will defeat them. For God has not told you to be a failure or to be defeated, but to overcome. And uh, when you overcome, you have a testimony to tell. 
And that's the what God is looking for in your life. The testimony of victory. For we shall conquer the enemy through and the victory through the, the testimony that we have of his victory. And uh, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord Almighty, that you may set this woman free to serve you in the team that your conduct to be part of. Lord Almighty, let her break out of the defeat and mind. And Lord, let her walk free 